to our 15th installment of Geek Responsibly with Jenna and Bridget. Uh, on this uh, lovely episode, we are expanding our horizons as well as our vocabulary. Because my mother called me and told me to wash my mouth out with soap. <laughs> so, cat's out of the bag, everyone. My sister had been texting me and... I think I was on the phone with her when I was talking to you the mm-hmm. other day, and she's like, wow, you're doing a podcast? I've been keeping it on the DL, because I'm not sure how people would feel listening to that, and I was more, con- funny thing, I was more concerned about my um, weddings being affected and having bride and grooms listen to me, but I should have been worried about my family, so my sister, I didn't tell her where to find us, which is hilarious. She finds us there. Uh, oh, it's and... not really hard to find us. No, I know. I mean, I have it on everything. This Spotify, iTunes. By the way, guys, if you could, <laughs> please leave a comment and also rate us on iTunes if possible. That would be awesome. So she finds the stuff and then apparently has my mother listen to it. And I get a text. Let Which me that's read. impressive. Yeah, she's like, oh, I want to spread the word. I'm like, great. I get a text. Um, let's see if I can find it. While she's trying to find that, I've been trying to get my parents to listen to it, and they will not. <laughs> really? Well, maybe they know better. But I do know it. My, I learned all of my language from my parents anyway. Mostly my mother. You know what's funny? Weird. I can't find it. But anyway, she texted me, and she's like, oh, Mom has something to talk to you about. I'm like, what? So she calls me. My sister calls me, and I hear my mom in the background, and she's like, you said a dirty word. And I hear my mom laughing in the background, and she's like, you need to wash your mouth out with soap. And I <laughs> and I find this hilarious, because in our last episode, we were just talking about, I'm like, man, we should probably not swear as much, because I want my mom to be able to hear this. She finds it anyway, and just freaking goes through and <laughs> listens to it. And yeah, so she said, better wash your mouth out with soap. And I said, please send a lot of soap. <laughs> I said, as long as it's from Lush. <laughs> So we're trying to, essentially, we wanted to name this one Word to Your Mother episode and try to have something a little bit cleaner so my mom would be proud of me Um, because she always jokes that if you swear a lot, you're just being lazy and that you should be able to like find different words. So this is so, I can't even tell you how hard this is right now. (laughs) This is, this is difficult to not swear, but she didn't say I couldn't, but I'm going to try on your hand so that I can at least also help? I'm already feeling but, like I'm being held back. <laughs> like, knowing that I can't. feel like your skin's crawling? It's just like my soul is trying to burst through <laughs> and I can't. Like, I have it's difficult. read tons and tons of articles stating anybody who swears is actually a genius. I will find it and I'll send it to you so you can Which send it to Which will make me feel better. Well, the thing is, is after she said it, I'm not going to lie, it hurt a little. Like, and I think it's just because of mom disappointment thing. And I actually went through and like sc- scrubbed through <laughs> our old episodes. I'm like, oh my gosh, are we that bad? Because we just no. talked about this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. From the other podcast, I'm like, oh, we're not so bad. Why but I'm noticing I was popping it in for anything. Like, I'm not not saying I'm doing it on purpose, but it just comes out. Yeah, like, it's just us. It's natural. It's like comma, <laughs> comma. <laughs> it's like comma this. Ha, so ha, comma, ha, comma. <laughs> so it was just, uh, it was interesting. We can send them the other podcasts that we will not say that we were talking about in the yes. previous one. Then so, your mom can tell us how she feels. Yeah, right. I'm like at least it's not a podcast about this. So, yeah, so this it's pretty funny. And it's funny that it ended up working out that we're doing this today cuz it's also um Rosh Hashanah, so Shana Tovav to everyone who's celebrating that, which essentially it's the Jewish New Year. And hearing wee. yeah, we here's the funny <laughs> thing about the Jewish New Year. So, for That was my like what are those little things that make noises? Here, so the things that, the funny, the noise making thing. So Rosh Hashanah, you blow the shofar. So I can't unsee the unicorn minotaur guy <laughs> <laughs> now because I told Mark about it. I was like, Shana Tava, babe. And I was like, I'm so, I wish we had a shofar and we don't, which is the ram's horn. And like, if we did, my neighbors would hate me because I'd be out there ram horn style, like, burr, 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 like for the new, for the would new you year. Would you dress up as the unicorn dude? In my brain, I did, but, like, I know I probably wouldn't because I don't have those magical, like, feet that bend the other way, leg thingies. But, yeah, I I was in my car going, I wish I had one so I could do that. Um, So, with that being said, it's, like, the first of the year, and you're supposed to, like, hey, wish everyone a sweet year, but you're also supposed to, um, you know, like, you kind of work on yourself. I'm like, oh, great. Boom, that slaps me in the face. My mom's like, you're filthy. Boom, that slaps me in the face. I'm like, okay, I'm 31. Maybe I should try to be more of a lady and, and, be, and, and work harder and not swear as much. Have balance, yes. We're talking about balance today, guys. 
Yes, we are. And I and how I horrifically failed at that. No, <laughs> no. We're just working you don't on even ourselves. No, I haven't even told you yet, and it was bad. Should I what? go right in? Like, my oh. balance. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. Weekend. Um, so let's start off with, well, I kind of double dipped because it, it goes into our clean eating that we wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love our setup that we have right now. Right? So normally we have it set up that we are both next pivoted, to each other. Next to each other and like towards the computer and she just got this like wicked oh see that's the problem if i don't swear it i turns into that <laughs> she got this wicked rad uh desk totally tubular totally man <laughs> so wicked so she got this desk so now we're kind of like across from each other like professional like talk show thing so, so now and we can have eye contact the whole time now i want two <laughs> mics because i want to be like joe rogan yeah where he has one and then the other person has one right and then we have headphones so i got one pair of headphones yeah we use the other one i have a good pair of headphones and i have the same mic at home let's do i this. just have to figure out like how to swipe it no swiping like from mark without him noticing it's fine um oh so yeah we're talking about clean eating so it's been mentioned before on this podcast that I love Final Fantasy XI. I am very addicted to it. We've made multiple comments. She keeps telling me that I keep hitting my arm like heroin that oh, I never yeah. noticed. But I now I'm pretty sure you're accurate that I always do that. So it's one of those things I, I had to uninstall it from my, my computer because I would just get sucked in and play all day and just ignore everything. So... Friends of ours started playing on a private server, um, and this pri the private server actually has more people playing than what's currently out going live. Hmm. So you have to pay a subscription, and you you pay like fourteen or fifteen a month. And I think there was like on one popular server there was like a thousand people on at a time. This private server has four thousand people on it, wow. so you're getting more people playing this bootlegged copy than you are for the actual retail. So which was mind-boggling that people would rather do that but they changed it so like the stuff on the private server is the old school you know nose to the grindstone grinding it was hard it wasn't easy there's actually a community because you have to reach out people have to help you versus the retail you can kind of play it solo yeah so mark had downloaded it and he was he was gonna play with some guy that was on there and i'm like whatever i don't i don't care i don't want to know anything about it and i'm hearing the music in the background i'm hearing everything and then we wake up yesterday and I'm like, it wouldn't hurt if it just magically showed up on my computer. And so I'm going and I'm making breakfast and I'm like, and I said again, hey, it wouldn't, it wouldn't suck if that just kind of showed up on my computer downloaded. And he's like, I heard you. That's why I've been ignoring you and downloading it anyway. <laughs> so. Onto your computer. Onto my computer. Okay, got it. Just so, making sure. So now I have, now I'm on the private server and I, man, we're like, so I'm like, we're going to make breakfast today. It's going to be awesome. We're going to hang out. Um, we'll do laundry, we'll do all this stuff, I'll make us a healthy dinner. We started playing that game at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I played till 11 o'clock at night. Um, that's weird. I <laughs> played till 11 o'clock at night. Uh, sorry guys, malfunction. This cabinet <laughs> randomly opened up, which is either A, ghost, or B, it's front heavy and it opened. No, um, I'm gonna go with the first. <laughs> Fucking Darth Revan sitting yeah. right on top of it. It's weird. He just force pushed it. Um. Anyway, so I started playing at eight o'clock in the morning, and I played till eleven o'clock at night. Uh, I don't remember really leaving the chair. I sat in that computer chair the entire day. It that is impressive. I that is like my Sims addiction. Ugh. This is great. I, I didn't do any laundry. I didn't clean my house. I barely got out of the chair. I made Mark go and get us dinner. So he went to freaking um, Burger King. And he's like, what do you want? I'm like, oh, fries, salad, chicken nuggets, and a Whopper. And I got everything and a root beer. So talk about clean eating. Didn't do it at all. So I didn't eat throughout like, the whole day. Binged on Burger King and sat on my ass and played this game from dawn until right before bed, dusk. It was insane so don't don't follow what i'm doing because i don't have balance and today like i wasn't working from the office today so i'm like oh no i'll clean my house i'll get everything done because of the new year i'll kind of get it all done and mark's like oh man i'm gonna come home and you're gonna have all this stuff done on the game i'm like absolutely not no no, no i'm not gonna do it i made another character this morning like made a new character leveled up a little bit and i'm like what's wrong with me what's wrong with me and then went out to go get breakfast and i'm like okay I can't go home until I go grocery shopping. I can't 
do any of this stuff and then get home and then go right to the game because it's like people who are addicted to their phone, I constantly want to like, check it and yep. log in and touch it. And it's there. So the struggle is real. I'm riding the struggle bus hard today. That is awesome. Real hard. So <laughs> it's not been good. <laughs> and that was one day. My first day on, I leveled up three jobs. Which, if you guys know old time, like old school Final Fantasy fourteen, it's not easy and it's really time consuming and you don't have any money and it takes forever to level because they don't let you use the experience band or anything. So three jobs in one day, it's bad. So how long does it take to normally take a job? Now or mm -hmm. back then? Now you can probably get to level twenty in the first day because you get like trusts that kind of replace people. Uh, in the old old days. It takes quite a bit because you don't get a lot of experience. So you're looking at 3,000 experience, but each mob only does like 50. And then the higher you go, each mob is like 30. And it, I, it was bad. It was sickening. Is I've that what you're on right now? I just hit level 12 on my highest one, but then I made a new character. So I'm going to level that. are you there right now? No, only three. Okay. Only three, so not bad. But it's one of those things like I have if a character. If you didn't have breakfast... <laughs> Would you still be there? Yes, probably. That thing. So it was so bad. So yesterday I'm playing and we're getting to 11 and I do a, I'm like, huh, did I shower or put deodorant on today? Did a quick pit check? No, no deodorant. And I was like, oh man, I stink. I should probably take care of it. No, it went right to bed. Didn't take care of it at all. So I get up to go to the gym this morning and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'm probably fine. I'm halfway through the gym, decide to do the pit check. I still didn't put deodorant on. And I'm like, oh my God, I am disgusting. Ew. Ali, are you Ellie? At least, <laughs> at least you went to the gym. That you was a struggle. New York. That uh, was a struggle with me just saying uh, it. <laughs> yeah, the, the gym was a real struggle because we had done really heavy, not heavy last week, but we ended with chest and it still hurts over the weekend. Yeah. So we, so not only did I not have deodorant on, it was shoulder day. So I had to lift my it's arms over my shoulder. <laughs> So we were doing shoulder presses and I'm telling my partner, I'm like, you might want to back a few feet up. I'm really sorry. And there wasn't any deodorant at the gym because it's a big gym. So I pulled some of the stuff that you do to wash the equipment down and I'm like rubbing it in my pits. I'm like, I need to go to the bathroom and like wash them with a soap dispenser. It was so bad. Was and she I was laughing at you. She was laughing at me. I okay. just, Fun fact, if you don't have any deodorant and you happen to have, like, hand sanitizer, that helps a little. Just, it burns. It burns, but it helps better than what I was doing. <laughs> so, like, I had, to, like, that whole half hour, I just had to, like, do it, and they were right by my face, and all I could smell... And I said I smelled like a wandering, <laughs> little, little hot... No, wandering, <laughs> hot, homeless hitchhiker. That actually is really like, sexy, and it paints this incredible <laughs> picture. <laughs> and I'm, like, dusty. Yeah, so that's... That's what I smelled like. I had to deal with it for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, you know what? I deserve this. So like by the time I got to my car, I'm like, I'm never forgetting that again. And I was like, dang, like, damn you, Final Fantasy XI. You've already <laughs> affected my life and it's day one. <laughs> day one. I didn't do anything. So I made, I leveled up a tiny bit today, but I was like, you know what? No. And I'm, I find myself doing this. I'm sitting down at the computer without thinking about it. I'm already starting to log in. I'm like, no, Bridget. No. Go and do laundry. Why don't you start the laundry like you were going to do? Why if you, you start go... the laundry, you can still go and play. Well, I started the laundry. Okay. I'm like, go and start the dishwasher. So I was like really having to talk myself in to yeah. doing anything besides jumping on and playing. And yeah. luckily, because I had to go to work, it did pull me out. I think that also happens, though, not just for video games. Because mm. now that I'm into all this training on nutrition again. Yeah. Um, oh, you go deep, though, usually. When I you're... go really bad. Yeah. And so yesterday, same thing. I'm, like, watching all these training videos and going, even though I know the information, and I'm like, oh, come on. Like, everybody knows that they need multivitamins and other things like that. Mm. I'm just going to put all the stuff down at the bottom one. Yeah, that's a smart one. <laughs> So, with the, the drawer keeps opening, if yeah. you guys <laughs> keep wondering. So, I got this desk, and clearly it's freaking haunted, and it keeps opening behind us. So, we're just going to leave it. It's probably just top heavy. I think so. I, th I don't think there's anything in the bottom one. That's why. I think that's probably why. Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, anywho, <laughs> I need to smudge. I should smudge this room in. I have a giant thing of... I do too. Okay. I have like two. I'll just come in sage. here fucking... Sage. We were talking about Sage. <laughs> Also, if anyone's keeping track, the F count is two. Both Jenna and not me. Did you really? Yep. Twice. 
Damn it! <laughs> it's okay. You said Revan, and then you just said it. It's fine. <laughs> it's better. It's way better than what we've done, usually done. Can we just like mark this down? We need a piece of paper. Yeah, we can okay. mark it. Hold then on, guys. We can put it in the description. Go, sorry, mom. It was two. <laughs> real, real quick. Yes. I'm gonna frame this, and you're gonna put this up. Cute. Yeah, and you I should gave you hair, it. by the way. Can I had hair. You oh, because it's longer now. Yeah, you gave you gave yourself just like little. So I was like, she's got a ponytail on now. There. So yeah, I'll put a ponytail on there. And obviously, with um, anime, they just make it accentuated from what you normally are. So right? give me a piece of paper for our f tally, <laughs> our swear words. Yep. Put it. Put it in the jar. Yep. There you this go. is what we're doing. Okay. Two, f bombs. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Does it count it, if I wrote it? Because I just wrote it and I meant to write F-bomb and I just wrote it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. Not even Subconsciously, not even thinking about it, I went to write F-bomb and I full-on wrote the word out. So I'm not counting that because I didn't say it, but subconsciously I needed to get it out. <laughs> this is bad. This is a rough one. Oh, Mom, I love you, but man. <laughs> word to your mother. Um... <laughs> Okay, so nutrition. You go deep. I go. I go deep in <laughs> the nutrition. Yes. If we do insinu- insinuate, then we're fine. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. We um, can't. We can't. No. There's. We would. We would have to just. We have no podcast. We might as well just slit our wrists now. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to live. <laughs> so I go deep in that nutrition. Yeah. And a little bit about me. I actually worked at a health food store back in 2009 in New York. And I got really interested in supplements and health and nutrition. And then I came back and I was super upset about the standard American diet and wanted to shove it down everybody's throat. <laughs> you had so many, didn't you have a lot of different like uh, not degrees. What are they called? Yeah, like, certifications. Certifications. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I even got um, my one of, I guess my undergrads were uh, holistic nutrition. Yeah. And certified holistic um, transformational psychologist, which, which has hypnotherapy. But I have to say, like, even though, like, when I there be days where you'd go on a rant, which was totally fine. But I think, <laughs> like, knowing that and like you actually, I feel like you actually educated me on some of this stuff because coming into it, I had no idea mm-hmm. of like what you like trying to eat healthy and feel good. And I didn't even know like holistically what you could do to feel better too. So it's yeah. like, oh no, I'm bloated. And you're like, you can actually fix that. I'm like, how do you do that? And you're like, oh, with all this crap. Like it's crazy. Yeah. Um, and it, like, I'm still learning stuff now, but I think you were definitely, there are a lot of things that you were kind of like the entry, entry, mm-hmm. the entry gateway drug for. <laughs> With in that, health, in that, health, in health, <laughs> in health and energy stuff. Like you were like, hey, dip your toe in the pool because I remember you always mm-hmm. get frustrated. You're like, why aren't you doing this? I'm like, oh, I'm just like testing it. And you're like, jump in. I'm like, I can't. But you which were, is still like how you are in I life. I am. And, and then all of a sudden like, you turn ah. around and then you're like, look at this cool thing I'm doing. And I'm like, <laughs> I told you about that years ago. <laughs> Pretty sure I had mentioned this, but I'm gonna just deal with it. I had to learn that also when I was doing training. Because not everyone's ready when you want to be mm-hmm. ready. Which I'm realizing now when I, like, now it's reversed on me as far as, like, teaching photography. Mm-hmm. Where I'm like, hey, you're good to go. And they're like, oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And then you, they turn around going, hey, this is a great idea. And I'm like, mother effer, like, I told you this. Yeah. Let's use the word fluff. Fluff? What the fluff? Yeah. Oh, mother fluffer. Or we could also use frack from Bellasar Galactica. Because they'd be like, what the frack? We can, fine. we can do either. Whatever a float your boat. Oh my god. As long as you do not say the F word. I just remembered. So I used to be... So you remember those Orbit gum commercials? Uh-huh. Where they're like, clean your mouth. Yes. Because yeah. I used to always do the one and it's like, son of a biscuit eating bulldog. <laughs> and she, screw you, kumquat. Like, that kind of stuff was hilarious yes. to me. Yeah. No, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, but yes, back to nutrition. I feel like I'm almost losing it as well because obviously I have a full-time job but then also there's tons of other stuff that's happening outside of work in my personal life yeah and then the only thing that's helping me stay like focused and on track is getting yeah getting in with all of this nutrition stuff again and I'm like I already know this and I'm just like eating it up because I'm like oh I know this but now it's a different 
Um, like a different road around it or it's like something you haven't like that route that branch you haven't looked into it's almost like no it's the approach okay so back in the day when I was 21 Mm -hmm. I was like holy fluff I can't (laughs) believe that we are eating these things and our standard American diet is so bad don't eat that don't do this don't do that and people hated it yeah. Because they're like, well, don't tell me what to do. Yep. And then they'd be like, I would Or they had an idea of what they thought was healthy. And Correct. Like, I'm not wrong. Well, and a lot of people would come up to me then also and be like, hey, could you help me? And so I helped a lot of people and then I would get them supplements and get them on a, a nutrition mm. meal plan, etc. Um, but now it's almost like that it's a part of me. Yeah. It's not a sale. It's not something else. I'm here for those who want it. Yeah. I'm not going to flaunt it and I'm going to wait for it. You're, you're a fountain of knowledge and if they choose to come over yeah. and drink from you, that's kind of weird, but we'll go with the <laughs> analogy. But if they choose to come and ask you questions, you're like, oh yeah. yeah, no, I'm here to share. But you're not like, hey, I know all this information. Let me just like yeah. Do do you want a let meal me plan? Like, you. <laughs> let, let me Let me see what you're you're doing now. And then, like, for example, they were doing a couple of um, basic training, and they were saying, okay, well, um, if somebody's already working out and they want to enhance their workouts because they feel like they've plateaued, these are some great questions to ask them. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's great. You know, it's putting it into their court again and going, hey, what are you doing? What are you taking post-workout? If you're not doing this, then let's go ahead and supplement it. Supplements are only there to fill the gaps that you already are doing with whole foods. Which I do like when it comes to that kind of selling. Because as a consumer, I'll always go to the products that aren't, like, Mm -hmm. hard selling. Like, this is not in the realm of health or anything else. But, like, I'm getting... I don't know how these people have gotten my phone number. But they're getting my phone number and calling me constantly leaving voicemail saying, Hey, let me know if you want to sell your house. I'll tell you right now, guaranteed, I'm never calling you back because I'm not going to go to you to sell my house because you're, like, just leaving pushy. me. Pushy. Pushy, like, leaving stuff, like, voicemails on it. So, it's, like, as far as, like, like hey, I have the education and I'm here to help. And I kind of go that way with photography. It's, like, mm-hmm. here, I'm, I'm here to help educate you guys. And if people sit down in the office with me and they're debating whether they're using my company or not, I always tell everyone at the end of the day, I'm, like, hey, I've got everything ready. We can take care of you right now. Get your contract signed and everything. Or go home, sleep on it. And I'm, like, whatever you decide, we want you comfortable and confident in your decision. Yeah. Because I don't want to be that person that's going, oh, well, there's two other weddings that day. You should probably make a decision. Like, it's it's yeah. just too pushy and I don't like doing that. Well, and people then feel upset. And then they, there's always, like, that buyer's remorse after. And I that's not what we're here for. I don't necessarily want to set a fire on people. Like, yeah. like under their butt. Like, I don't, I don't, like, if it's. Well, I mean, weddings are different. If it is something where I was like, hey, we might book out, you might want to do something about it. But I'm not, and I tell, I even tell people, I'm like, hey, if you decide not to go with us, let me know. Because I that way I know, say, like, peace of mind that you're taking care of regardless. Yep. So it's one of those things versus, because people get weird and then they just ghost and just odd. But I'm sure, like, for clean, well, with, or for fitness and health, I'm sure that goes the same route, too. Yeah, and the same thing is, is, like, with nutrition. People get upset with themselves. And then they feel like they're disappointing the person that they are working with. Yeah. Which I don't want people to feel that way. I want people to feel like, hey, I'm having struggles. But for me, I'm going to also be doing this again. And I think I'm going to be putting all of my stuff out there to say, like, hey, you know, I, I fell off the, the wagon. Um, I've been doing it here and there. I feel really good when I do this, but then all, like, I haven't looked. Remember all the supplements I used to take? Yeah. I have not been taking one but probiotics. Hmm. Like, what happened? Clearly, I needed to find a brand and a company and somebody to be like, all right, we're just bad at butt people. (laughs) (laughs) Butt people? Did you just say butt people? (laughs) We are bad at butt people? Bad butt people, because I was gonna, <laughs> I was accidentally gonna say the a word. Does this come after from? all? I why did you no, say no, no, it? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, it. listen, listen. Here's, That's still a swear word. I don't count that. I'm, I'm just steering away from the big one, the f bomb. I'm not. I mean, well, the probably the c word, and probably. Oh, when do we ever say that? We've used it a couple of times on here. Mm-hmm. We've done it like oh, once or we're twice. horrible. We, well, that's we, like we we used the term though. Let's just pick one word at a time, because again, <laughs> we might as well just slit our wrists and end it all. If you're telling me I can't say shit, like I'm still gonna say shit. Oh, okay, good. Because I'm I'm like trying to hold it. Back. Everything. No, I. Again, mom, I love you, but. 
we're like we are for clean and health. Like one, like I know that I can't hold everything back. And for me, the F bomb is like the big one. So it's like, all right, fine. I'm going to do the elimination diet. Okay. We're taking this away. <laughs> we're taking the F word away today. Oh, I but feel so proud of you. I know. You used the elimination diet. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, no, I'm not going to, yeah. And again, going back to like clean and you're telling me that how people are like disappointed when they fall off the wagon, Mm -hmm. that's something where I've struggled with it where it's like, okay, I eat like shit and then I feel really bad about it and I would beat myself up over it. Yes. Where now I'm like, okay, you know what? You didn't do so good. It's all right. Get back on it. You're fine. It was one day. So if I end up dropping an F-bomb, I'm not going to be thrilled about it, but I'll be like, hey man, you know what? It's fine. I got to keep going and keep trying. Yeah. And the other thing that I like about... Because I'm, sure I'm sure our next episodes are going to just go right back down. Right back again. into it, yeah. <laughs> this is the only episode that's going to be for your mom. I know. <laughs> like, just listen to that one over and over again. Honestly, if you think about it, too, like, I don't know... Like, she's not good. I don't even think she would care to listen to me talk for an hour about video games. Do you think she Maybe. would even know how to find your podcast? Maybe. Because I think that's the reason why my hunt, parents haven't found it. it down and yeah. be like, every time. <sighs> But she might listen she about clean your part of your life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> clean your mouth out. That's funny. My sister even said she's like, "Oh, you dropped the F bomb and you, and she goes, "I wasn't sure if I wanted to listen anymore." And I'm like, "You know what? You're worse than I am." <laughs> I know that's what I said. I was like, "Wait a minute." Oh, <laughs> shame. I'm sure she's probably the same. Shame. Um yeah, so what I was going to say is I, I'm really excited to have a company that's going to have badass people oh, okay. that are also going to keep me accountable. Not in the sales portion, but to be like, okay, you are going to do it as well. You're going to go to the gym. You're going to do these types of meals, meal plans, meal prepping again, because I did it and I felt great and I looked great and I had better quality of life. Yeah. I was doing things. I was feeling better. We were, I, we were not dancing at that time. No. It was after, I think. See, and that's the thing too, is like that one day of Final Fantasy, it, I remember looking at Mark, I'm like, wow, this feels like back in college, Colin's college days when we, like, I went to school, but I had a job, I didn't really do much, but we would just sit all day and play games and eat like the pre-made stuff from fries or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I instantly was like, ooh, man, like, if I want to play it, I think I need to learn to like get balance. to balance and kind of back off a little bit and not be like, oh, I need to level up and I need to be like a pro and be like, hey, it's just for funsies because it really affected my entire day. And I was yep. like, I love playing video games. I do. I don't get to play them as much as I want to, which I never thought I would say because I always played them quite a bit. But I'm also realizing my life has drastically changed mm-hmm. because my priorities have changed. Yes. And I do want to still play games and I make... And I do try to make time for it. My thing is, when I finally get a chance to play games, I binge. And I'll, yep. I'll do, like, a good day of, like, from start to finish everything. And then go back into just being more, hey, I'm going to be active. I'm hitting the gym and I'm focusing on work. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the thing. But if I could get, like, because I was talking about streaming, which I still want to do. But I... Well, you started a little bit. I did. I actually did start streaming. Um... I can't, here's the funny thing, I can't stream 11 because that's not technically retail, and there's people that will report you and you can get your stream taken down. So it's kind of good because if I did stream that, I feel like that would be it. That would just be done, the rest of my life done. This is my life now, like that's it. Um, But besides that, like I am, I did start streaming. I'm trying to like make it so it's maybe uh, Sunday and Mondays, but not have it take over like everything. I would be amazing if that was my life and I could just stream and make money that way, but I, I'm i like, no, like I just, I can't full dive into that because my whole life quality would change because of where it is right yeah. now. So, it's interesting. Balance. Uh, never Balance is struggle. a bitch. Yeah. I can say that word, right? That's technically a female dog, so. Yeah. She's using terms, technical terms. Like I said, I'm proud of us for just avoiding... F bomb. We've only done it twice, or we've done. You've it twice? only. No, sorry, correction. You've only done it twice. <laughs> okay, so you haven't yet. No. Damn, I am bad, but that's pretty good. That's fantastic. That's the lowest ever. Yeah. I almost. So, lovely listeners, whoever wants to go back through and tally up the f bombs in our last ones, I'll do. I mean, I'll do it, but unless someone else wants to, great. <laughs> But I'm sure someone will go through. And tally them for that, oh, this one's Jenna's, and these ones are Bridget's. If you can tell our voices apart. Because sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can't either. And sometimes I'm like, oh, well, the only reason why I remember that, that would be you. 
is because it's mostly because me. of what yeah honestly no, i want to say it's mostly me you do talk a lot no. uh, but <laughs> i think that we have good banter back and forth or i start saying something and then you take over i'm sorry i do it's so bad i just like oh you say something and i instantly like I, I want to be a part of it. Well, not a part of it, but like it reminds me of something. And if I don't say it, like you in movie quotes, if I don't say it, and then it just like poofs, goes away. So like you're like, oh, this. I'm like, oh, that reminds me of my childhood. Let me take this in a direction for 30 minutes. Like, and I feel horrific that I do that to you. <laughs> and I know it's happening and my mouth just doesn't stop. So it's bad. <laughs> it's okay. That's why I love you. <laughs> Which I just did. Point in fact. Like <laughs> yeah. I was trying to tell you how you do it, but we still are trying to talk about your nutrition and we we've, we've gone to so many different branches it because I just can't. Anymore. It's one of those things where like I want to tell a joke and then you keep like interrupting the joke. <laughs> By the time that I'm about to tell the joke, I don't even want to tell the joke because it's not even funny yeah, anymore. <laughs> but it is. You still tell me and it's like 30 minutes after and I still giggle. Dang it. It's okay. That gets new year, new new year, new me. I should put that on my list of like stop interrupting just Jenna because then it, it can't. <laughs> I can still interrupt Mark and like clients and all that, just not you. And then just kind of work down the line. Like, yeah, okay. see, I'm the one. Yeah, it's you're the. I'm the f bomb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but in general, we have to focus on creating balance within our life. Yeah. And for me, I think right now I'm getting closer to finding that balance. I just need to... You have a lot going on. I have a lot going on and then I get really overwhelmed. And so then that's why I just kind of like back up from everything. Um, being Libra also, if they get... Yep, I close myself off. I put myself in a corner and Imagine. then I wait until I blow up. Yeah. And then when I blow up, it can be extremely destructive but I'm going to try and figure out if I can make it <laughs> to a point where it's going to be awesome and not destructive. I like how you're like aggressive when you said destructive. I'm like, but I'm doing this instead. I'm going to, instead of being destructive, I'm going to come out and just be a complete badass with something. I yeah. hope. That reminds me I need to let you borrow a book of mine. And also... Please when don't it, be the power of now. I'm just no, joking. Okay. I know how much you love that I want to burn it, but it's not mine. So, if <laughs> you want mine and you can burn no. mine to give it back to my friend. Um, that reminds me that that book, but that also is going to say, like, when it comes to having a lot like juggling on your plate, because I know you're doing the, the comic book reviews and everything else, do you have a hard time when it comes to deadlines? Like, are you finding yep. it? Is that maybe why it's like everything's got you wait till everything's like really close and you're like, but I'm doing it all now. Yep. And then you're just like mad and like writing something and eating, I don't know, Poor. shit. Yeah, I had curry last night. The curry can be white good. rice. Well, well, I had a little bit of white rice. Called portion control, worst case scenario. But I can't say anything. I had French fries, chicken nuggets, and a Whopper. And a, and a salad. No. Did you I have lied. a salad? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <gasps> At least she says the truth later. Yeah. You just no, admitted I, to your mom that you I lied. Didn't, I didn't have salad. Hey, this is actually going on record that I haven't dropped the f bomb. So she should be pretty fluffing proud of me. So. That's hard to say. It ruined the rest of my words. <laughs> fluff and fluff of me. <laughs> oh, my brain. See, that's how upset my brain is that I can't say it. You said fluffy and proud of me. I have a lazy mouth. <laughs> um, I used to joke and tell people it's because I'm like a New Yorker. And I'm like, oh, no. Like, we just mumble because we, we don't want to say stuff. But I have a lazy mouth and I want to be able to move it the least amount as possible to get my words out. And then sometimes I just start saying a word halfway through it. I just, oh, halfway through a word or a saying. Um, that's where walk with the sharks came in. Because so I was trying to say walk with the big dogs and swimming with the sharks. And I ended up saying walk with the sharks. Because I just changed. I just like, no, I'm going to change that halfway through. My brain's just like. Gonna cut all of it and just be like. Phew. Yeah, brain's got to poop. It's like, what are you trying to say? I'm like, all the things. Take luck. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, balance, back to balance. Um, I'm also coming into the season, the wedding season. So mm, that's going to yeah. be crazy. Wedding season is awful. And I every year I feel like I ostrich. And I just like put my head in the sand, keep my head low, get everything I need to get, get done. And then what? By the time Christmas rolls around, it's like I, even though I said ostrich and sand, I'm going to water now. Because then it's like I come up gasping for air. Because I was like, how's everyone been? Still alive. I'll be back in three more months. And I go back down and, and shoot weddings. 
So Does I don't know if you see a, a wedding on Christmas. Thank God, no. I've never had that. If they did, I would be the one shooting it. It's like the the weird. Well, yeah, because you're a Jew. Yeah, yeah. But only Jewish. Honestly, when it comes to like the Christmas, I think people not weddings, but I've had families ask for that. And even though because it's a comp, it's I mean because the company is not just me. Um, we we would have to charge double if it's like a holiday thing because it's like even though I don't celebrate it like Mark and I still go out and do stuff like we go and get Chinese food because nothing else is open. Christmas story so bad. So with holidays, what is the biggest? Oops, <laughs> what is the biggest holiday people go to? Um, what are the words that I'm? Co- yes. Um, it's not Valentine's Day. No, it's actually not holidays. It's the the double fluffin digits. Oh, I, I 11, 11. Hate those. Yeah, 11, 11, which is Veterans Day this year. We have two on that. Um, tw- yeah, the double digits and like the weird ones, they try to do that like what 10, 8, 18, something like that. So we have the double digits. I see more of that than I do for holidays and I think it's cuz they want to they claim it will make them remember their anniversary or they're like, "Oh, it's the only day available." Stuff like that. The holidays, the only ones I see people ever do stuff is Halloween. I've had quite a few Halloween weddings, which is disappointing sure. because they don't do anything for it. So, like, I had one, they're like, oh, it's a Halloween wedding. I'm like, cool, I hope you guys go all out. Make it fun. Like, do something crazy. Oh, and like then, decorations? Yeah, and decorations. Have it in, a, in a cemetery. Well, decorations have a cemetery, black wedding dress. Um, how about, you know, you let everyone come dressed up and it's like a masquerade yeah. and it's a fun thing. No, every single time it's a plain old wedding. The craziest I saw someone get is they did a red wedding cake with black spider webs on it. So it's like, and, and mind you... That's a waste. Well, and the downside is with our uh, with the team, I'm usually the one stuck having to do oh, ones yeah. on the ones for Halloween because everyone's like, "Oh, it's my holiday." It's everyone's fluffing holiday for <laughs> Halloween. Are you like wait? Are you for or against me to say this? I don't know. I already lost two. <laughs> um, so you're doing way better than I, I did, and I did I did it subconsciously. I know, like you said it, and I was like, "What?" Yeah. But I think I, one of them doesn't count because I was terrified because I was like, "Oh, that's a ghost." <laughs> <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better. You can just leave it. I'll take two. <laughs> um, but so I'm usually the one that has to do the holiday. So it's like I'm I'm taking this time off to shoot this wedding, and I'm a little disappointed that they haven't gotten a little bit more creative with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that one, and I'll see New Year's every once in a while. Hmm. Which kind of sucks. Um, New Year's is not fun because a lot of people try to have a late ceremony so they can party until midnight. And it's not fun for photos unless they're okay with everything being after dark, which normally they're not. Like, oh my gosh, I want perfect lighting. And they're like, but I'm having my ceremony at 8 o'clock at night. I'm like, well, you're stupid. Like, that's that's not really what you should do. Um, or they end up having to schedule you to shoot for 12 hours so you can get that light and then shoot their stuff after dark. So Halloween, New Year's, I've seen... Um, I think I've seen one or two Valentine's Days, which is so hard for me because it's kind of selfish. I think it's, it's hard selfish too. Because, like, honestly, if I had a friend, not, I mean, not me as a professional, like, obviously people want to get married when they do. And if it has a meaning, like, that's when you start dating or whatever, fine. But if someone invited me to their wedding and I got the invitation as a guest and it's like, join us for Valentine's Day, I'm like, well, no, because that, that day is for me to do something with my loved one or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or I would go and I'd bounce early. Like, I mean, it just depends. Or if someone's like, oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day, but it's in another state. So I need you to pay all this money to come. Like it's such so just it depends, but here it's not so bad. I get more double digits than I do for, for Holidays. that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just double digits or people try to be sl- like slick. I think I had someone who did pie. So it was like 314 something. Oh. Mm. You're like, food? <laughs> I was thinking of a pie. So I was like, how did they, okay, pumpkin pie, I guess. That works. Yeah. So, I mean, I've seen that. Like, it, weddings are interesting what people end up doing. And I feel like sometimes people try to, um, like, they want to be, they, they're like, their wedding's going to be so them. But they actually don't. They kind of do what everyone else does. Yeah. They don't kind of go out of the box. But it's fine. Yeah. I hope that answers your question. That was a long roundabout answer. Here you go. Yep. I got All it. All right. Solid. We do have <laughs> that a... works great. We do have a wedding, um, which I'm so upset because I really wish I would have shot it. The couple is so cool looking. It's definitely not like a normal couple that we get. 
she was wearing like really dark lipstick and does her face like beautifully. She looks like she probably works in the beauty industry. She's going to have a black wedding dress and a black wedding cake and all this stuff. And I wish I get, could get to shoot it, but I'll just have to settle with like editing the pictures. or something. Yeah. I really can't wait, but she's like November. So it's just, it's just, oh, I was just say, different. Is that maybe a Halloween one? No, no, we don't have any Halloween ones this year, which is surprisingly awesome because I can actually like do a Halloween thing. Because usually I can't do the trick or treating or anything. Like, well, I'm not saying I trick or treat, mm-hmm. but like passing out candy, I can never do it because I'm always working. Which we were talking about. I yes. I would love to do. Maybe we could. Oh, we we're out. talking about the hot dogs. Yeah, like no one will eat that. the hot dogs. But we can sit out and like have you a big bowl. It breaks my heart that I can't do that. Right. How about, how about I, we just bring how hot dogs and we give, <laughs> sorry, how about, how about, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? How about, I want to, we go and give, <laughs> I want to say like your Wisconsin showing, but I don't even know where that's from. <laughs> it sounds like the guy from Simpsons again, from the Quickie Mart. A poo? Yeah. How about, <laughs> what happened? So in the last episode, we talked about that too, right? That I just can't let you live it down. Yeah, yeah that's the prime example of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was Wisconsin, by the way. But um, what if I get the hot dogs and I hand them out to you? <laughs> like, so I can come trick-or-treat to your place? No, we're going to be sitting next to each other. I thought we were going to be doing trick-or-treating in your driveway. Just me and you? Or just handing out candy? Well, anybody can come. I think handing out candy could be fun. But I'm but, shooting every like weekend, so I don't know if I'm just going to be like, eh, and just staying home and be gross because I have so many weddings. <laughs> We can sit up for a little bit and I'll just, just wear, enjoy hot dogs I'll together. I'll just wear a mask. That's fine. Okay, will you lay down by the garage and I'll sit like <laughs> over by the door. Yeah. And they have to cross the the driveway yeah. in order to get to the door yeah. and then you chase them. No. We don't have candy anyway. I don't want to chase people. Uh-oh. Didn't you see the thing on you YouTube? Just jump up. Didn't you see the thing on YouTube that kids were doing that and they got like arrested or some crap? There was, it was, you don't have to oh, chase you them. know you what? Just stand up. It was not YouTube. A friend was telling me her son was very young, probably five or six. And she was telling me there was like a dude that legit was like following her and her son. So she hates taking him out trick or treating. This wasn't here. That's really terrifying. It is terrifying. Did you hear all the new stuff on Facebook that the guys are like sitting in Walmart waiting for the kids to like be separated from their parents and steal them for sex trafficking? Nope, that's terrifying. I'm yep. glad I'm. I'm glad I'm over I don't age. Have children. I'm glad I'm <laughs> over age. Oh no! Like, oh, how old are you? Thirty one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't want this one. Mm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, it was like really little little kids. I thought on Facebook. This got dark real quick. And, and the internet <laughs> obviously doesn't lie, right? I hope it does. I hope it wow, does. that got dark. <laughs> Well, Mom. <laughs> this is the clean version. We did not swear yet. Now it's going to freak out my sisters because they have kids. Well, Mom, like, don't let them know that apparently men are waiting to steal their babies. That's weird. Ugh. I think only the girls. So we only have two, <laughs> two issues. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this is the part where we should probably cut it before we get in more to the gutter because, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because I don't know if we can go much longer without starting to drop some bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have to... <laughs> We're going to have to get to the next episode. So next we can... Episode, episode. Hold up. <laughs> hey. Uh, so, uh, oh, no. Who we... <laughs> Sit down. Hold, drink. <laughs> Hold up. Drink. Um, what's Pass funny? out. Drink. Faded. <laughs> I, I can't get words out because i got to finish your sentence. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Um... Remember when we would sit in the car, one, mm. rapping to each other. Yes. And then two. It was like us kind of swooning each other, wasn't it? We were. We, were like we would always talk about each other's booties. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. Because you always played that song. And which one? There was tons of them. The one you always did that to. She does this motion because when she sang it. Pitbull. Yeah. You're walking by your face so ugly. Yeah. I, that's the thing. So I remember like the the rapping, but I remember your motions. Like I always remembered that the most it was like doom doom, and then this part. And I was like, what was this song? And I can literally just do that, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's disgusting. Because we're awesome. Uh, but it'd be funny if we would just rap and just like bleep out all of the swear words. Oh, oh. well, you'd have to edit it. You'd have to actually edit our podcast. <laughs> If you went back and bleeped it. 
That's actually great. We should regular rap, and then I'll go back in and edit all of those, and it'll literally be like, uh, <laughs> what? Adjectives. Adjectives. And Duh. mama, love, <laughs> no, whatever it Little is. mama. <laughs> but that would be the whole episode, is just that. We, we can end this episode, because yes. we're getting close. Yeah, it's getting to really rough. Really <laughs> Maybe crossing that line yeah. of me already breaking another three to ten f bombs. Fluffin' McFluffinson, <laughs> and we can just talk about reps. Because otherwise, all next episode. Otherwise, if I start, if I try to be super clean, I start really swearing. Then I start saying odd oh, ginger snaps, <laughs> like just weird <laughs> stuff. Then it gets Sugar weird. Cookies. Yeah, then it gets weird <laughs> for everybody. All right. So as on that note, uh, official doc is two. Two strikes on the F-bomb. We did really good. But it was Jenna. So technically your daughter is still clean. Yes. So fresh and so clean, clean. Yes. Da, 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 Dear da, Mama, da, da, da. I love you. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Please listen to this one. Especially my mom. Shout out to my mom. Listen to this one and only this one. We tried really, really hard. Yeah. It was like boiling and like having hot soup boiling in my throat. It was really bad. <laughs> really, I don't think that makes any sense. Responsibly. Responsibly.